What's up YouTube? Welcome to Code Affection. Today I'm going to show you how you can view the SQLite DB or table that you have created through Flutter app. So currently I have opened this Flutter project from previous tutorial where we have discussed SQLite CRUD operations in a Flutter app. I have given the link in video description. You can check that also. So as you can see, here we have inserted few records into the SQLite DB through this Flutter app. Now let's look how we can view these records in actual SQLite DB and let's look how we can execute SQL queries on this DB. I have to give the credit to this Stack Overflow answer here. It shows how you can view and query the SQLite DB that you have created as part of your Android application. With this video, I'm going to show you the same with Flutter application. I have also written an article on the same topic. You could check the video description for related links. So let's get started with the topic. So here we have the Flutter project which is already implemented with SQLite CRUD operation. If you are coming from web development, you might look for the DB inside the project directory itself. But that's not the case with mobile development. It will be there somewhere inside the Android emulator. It is different for both Android and iOS. As you can see inside this application, in order to get the directory based on the device, we have used this package path provider and we have called this function get application documents directory. So I have already running this application inside this Android emulator here. Now I just want to print the path where we have saved the DB. Now in order to see the actual DB path, I will just print that here, print DB location data directory dot path the print statement should be either inside this debug console here if you can't see this here go to view then debug console now let's restart this application in order to view the path so here we have printed the db location where the database is stored inside this application we have created a database with this file name contact data dot db now let's look how we can connect to this db inside this location here for that we have to make use of adb command tool which allows us to communicate with emulator or the device mobile device so first of all we have to look for the directory where we have the adb command tool for that first of all you have to look for the sdk android sdk path on your system open your android studio at the top right corner you could see this sdk manager here click on it so currently we are inside the Android SDK window. At the top you could see this SDK location. Just copy this. Now navigate inside this directory. So let me open the file explorer. I will just paste the copied directory here. You could see this folder here, platform tools. Inside that you could see this exe file adb.exe. So with this we can communicate with the emulator here. So inside this path, just type cmd, then hit enter. So here we have opened the command prompt from the same folder directory. Now in order to find this active emulator here, you could execute this command here, adb devices. Now in order to connect with this emulator here, we could do this adb dash s, the name of the emulator, which is here, emulator triple five four then shell so here we have connected to the attached emulator now we have to execute run as command with the package name as you know there should be a package name for an android application it will be there inside this folder android then src then main then you could see this file android manifest.xml so here we have the package name now we have to use this for run as command so let's execute that here, run as, hit enter. From now onwards, every command that we execute will be run in respective to this project here. Now let's navigate into the DB directory that we have already printed here. So let me copy that. Now you could use this cd command here in command prompt to paste the copied string. Just right click on your mouse. That's it. Hit enter. So here we are inside the db location. Inside this location we should have a database with this name here 
contactdata.db. That's how we have created the db path here. We just concatenated the path with the database file name. So in order to connect to this db, contact.data.db, we could make use of the command tool for the SQLite DB, which is here SQLite 3. So we just need to do this SQLite 3, then database name, which is contact data dot DB. Even if you make any typo with this file name, there will not be any error after executing this uh, command here. So in order to connect with the exact DB, make sure you have entered the proper DB name here. Now hit enter. Now if you want to view all of the tables inside the DB, just execute this period.tables. Hit enter. Sorry, we don't need the semicolon, just tables. The first table is created by SQLite itself and here we have the table that we have created inside the project. To view records from the table, you could execute the SQL queries like this select star from contacts so here we have four contact informations you could see the same inside this uh, android emulator also so this is how we can view the sqlite db that we have created through our flutter app hope you found this video helpful please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this video have a nice day bye